I'll be playing Kriya, where uh, it's a Terraria style game, but better in every single way. Uh, developed by Siege Games, and I have my buddy, who you may not have heard in a while, Abyssal. Say hello. Yeah. Bitch, I said say hello! Hello! There you go. Okay, so we be doing the first impression of Korea today, uh, tonight. Um, I was originally going to do I Shall Remain first, but it is not working. So, you're going to get to watch me play that instead. Hooray! So, here we go. Of course, I didn't pick the game up. Here we go. I have to open the next chat. Why didn't you tell me? Korea. There we go. Alright. And then this. Alrighty. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do this. Alright, I go single player. Drastic Civ and Draw, which is a level 4 character. Uh, I'm gonna. While this is loading, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the store page for this game. And I'm gonna redo some of the details for the game. Uh, Kriya is an easily moddable 2D sandbox game with RPG elements, a lighthearted mood, and a colorful art style. That is the synopsis, so you know, the short description of the game. Uh, again, it's developed and published by Siege Games. It's listed as an action adventure early access indie RPG. Ah! Uh, it was added to Steam uh, on June 3rd, 2014. It does have multiplayer. Um, it is a cross-platform multiplayer, meaning that you can play together on Linux, Mac, and PC. Uh, it is uh, on sale currently for $13.49. It's just 10% off. Or you can buy a four-pack for $40.49. Um, let's see. About the game. Furthering the emerging sandbox genre, Kriya features... Kriya? Kriya features combat and crafting and randomly generated fantasy style worlds for you to explore, tear apart, and build back up. Korea differentiates itself in many ways such as an RPG style character progression, several unique systems, extensive mod support, and a charming art style. Current features say that everything is still a work in progress and subject to change, so it's very important to remember that, that it is an early access game. Uh, there is character progression, meaning you level up your character, but you know, you kill monsters, and you actually, uh, crafting, you level crafting, uh, researching, um, talents and skills, grow and earn, learn over 50 skills by performing related actions for any of your talents, arms, arcane, divine, craft, and gather. Unique monsters, Kreia is populated with original creatures, each with unique attacks, challenging bosses, and counter powerful beings that will test your skills. Conflict system, monsters will spread throughout the world, growing in strength and numbers if left alone. Equipment upgrading. Find and equip your character with randomly generated gear, then upgrade it how you want. Research and crafting. Research numerous materials to learn over 200 item recipes for crafting. NPCs help bring the life, help bring to life several NPCs that will prove themselves invaluable. Uh, exploration. Trans transverse. Traverse procedurally generated worlds that are brimming with life. Quick travel. Activate way crystals spread throughout the world to quickly travel about. Uh, realms explore beyond the world by gaining access to other realms. Maps discover what the world has to offer and expand your cartography skills with the help of the cartographer NPC. Exploratory storytelling. Uncover the mysteries of Kriya and its deep mythos through the environment and item descriptions. Mod support. Cross-platform multi cross multiplayer and the game will be continued with free updates even after the release of the game. There will be Steam Workshop for the mods and support for the game. Um, they will add achievements, cloud saves, and trading cards at some point. Um, they also have plan on adding dungeons with the Dungeoneer NPC. Uh, item imbuing, refining the systems, adding even more content, and of course they really want to know what we think about the game. So if you are able to pick it up, you're able to play it, 
make sure you go on the forums for the on Steam and over to the website and let them know what you think, what you think uh, you would like to see in the game, and just overall feedback. So, uh, I've played the game a little bit, um, so this technically isn't the first time I'm playing it, but I've not made a first impressions video, and this will likely be the longest portion of the day playing this game. Um, uh, open up, here's the inventory window, it's pretty simple, you actually can get bags and stuff, uh, right now I only have the one bag, so the inventory is pretty small in comparison until you get the other bags. Here is the equipment screen. Um, it actually has all your stats listed. Uh, attack, defense, intelligence, mind, agility, luck. Then at the bottom is your actually equipables. Now have you leveled up yet? Yes, I have. I'm level 4. So do you, is this like where you, you level up and you put in points for stats? Um, I'm going to get there. just automatic? I see here, here it has listed each of the actual skill sets in the game. It shows me what level they are. Okay, so then uh, here is the talent tree. Talent trees, windows, whatever. All right, each each thing like fighting with weapons and bows that's listed as uh, arms and their skills each one currently goes up to level five um, all I've done so far is level defense um, but you, you you get TP as you do something in that specular style and then you also as you earn TP you gain levels in it but then you can spend TP on skills itself so there's arms, then there's arcane, which is elemental, you know, damage spells, that kind of stuff. Um, that's what I've done most of my combat in so far. Divine, which is buffs and healing. So that would be what I do. Um, then gathering, you, you like a uh, tool power boost. You know, your tools are more powerful. There are, but you do not only do you get better tools, but you can also get boosts to your skills. Do you heal other people or just yourself? You can heal other people. Yep. Um, yeah, you get them. tool boost speed, uh, collecting. You can. I, I, I'm not actually used to collecting it, so I don't really know what that's useful for. Pick up reach, scavenge. Uh, scavenge is a chance of finding items from gathering, so that's that's pretty neat to get. Um, and then you, obviously you have to level up before you can unlock abilities like on level 4, but I can't get pick up reach or scavenge or precision yet. And then craft. Um, pretty much everything you do in this game gives some sort of experience. So you can, you can in theory, get everything in this thing. Yep. See, I like that. I don't like games where it's like, you have to choose. No, I like to just do everything. Alright, uh, then like some of the crafting stuff is significantly increase the quality of the next crafted item. So, I mean, there is quality in, in terms of crafting, which is something I really enjoy. Um, I've made uh, one weapon so far, and it was the Strike Cleaver, and it's 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 normally a cleaver, but it came out as a Strike Cleaver with attack and HP on it. Hmm. Okay, now uh, I've as long as they don't have negative stat points. Um, and then you can get left hand and right hand on your stuff. So like I've pretty much right now everything I have. Uh, and my left hand is my weapon, and my right hand I have a torch, so I have light wherever I go. Um, here's the research desk. Okay, you right-click on it, and then if you have a material, you can uh, basically you can put one of these in if you have it, and hit research, and it gives you random recipes or unlock certain parts of a recipe. And so you might actually have to research a certain type of material four or five times before you get a whole recipe. Um, but you, like, you'll put the material in here, and then if it has anything, you can research these. You'll click it and do it a couple times. You get experience when you do it. Okay. It seems randomized. Um, so far, I've not I've not done a whole lot, really. Uh, just uh, Most of it is, okay, get materials and uh, research. So have you heard anything about bosses in this or anything? Uh, or any kind of like it, it says there are bosses in the game, uh, and there will be an in-game boss. I don't know if it's in the game yet, but there will be. Um, this right here is a rainy crystal, and you can click it. You can find other crystals throughout the game, and it's a quick travel. Um, th it, it uses the crystals that I just picked up, and it's, depending on how far away you go, it uh, increases how many uh, crystals it costs. Now, so is this like randomly generated, or yes, okay. it, it is procedurally generated. Hmm. I'm not sure how that works. Then. 
I'm currently playing in a medium sized world. Okay. As far as I can tell, there's one tool fits all. You don't have to create 15 different tools. That's nice. That may not be true, but that's what I've experienced so far. You know, like Terraria, you want to chop a tree down, you need fucking axe. And then you, you know, to dig and you get a pickaxe. Yep. Until you get to the later tier, and then they start combining them together. Like a ham axe and shit. Alright, so I'm going to go down here. Actually, no, I need to see if I can craft... Uh, this is the craft window. Hit C. And then it's separated by armor, recipes, like... Uh, Cooking and smelting, weapons, uh, home style stuff, walls, bookshelves, decorations and tools, and then basics. Um, I need to. What I need? Uh, I need lumber and blood clots, so I'm actually, or oil clots. So I need to get some wood, more wood. Then I need to find some creatures to kill. The blood clot, or I keep saying blood clots. God damn it! Shut up! Stupid. Can I, job, can, I, can I collect from a sheep? I want your wool. Nope. Nope. Well, that sucks for you, cuz fireball. It jumped. And it hit a bird instead. He's like, fuck you! Dodge. Bro. Sheep is just too pro for you. Still too pro for you. Oh, my word. God damn it. Okay. Uh, I... Um, Can you walk up one block high things in this or do you have to jump? I don't know. Yep. Okay, good. good. Because that is a major complaint I have in some games. Yeah. <laughs> you have to jump up one block high things. Did they ever change that in Minecraft? Uh, there's a mod. So no. You can get a pa <laughs> like a pair of uh, yeah, you can get like power armor, and the power armor lets you do that. And then there's layers. Like this is actually it will spawn the, the certain kind of mob it says. Yeah. I, I, like I think the longer it's there, the more the higher whoa holy crap that's a lot of crystals holy shit. and then uh you like these crystals you can use them to make a higher quality item to craft with okay so like um i'll show you uh where is it so they have multi -use so it, it's called a catalyst so it takes five way shards to create a catalyst and then most of them in like high level or not even high level but most of like the most of the Crafting stuff will take a catalyst, at least the plus stuff. Nice. I'm gonna try to find some more iron or some other kind of metals. So I guess the crystals just regrow around that thing over time? Yep. Or? That is exactly, and no longer you go without destroying them, the, the more crystals they give, the bigger they get. That's kind of neat. I'm curious to see if, like, you don't do anything, if it, like, spawns, like, a crystal golem or something, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. A quadrian spawner. That's a... Yep. Ah! Okay, you fucker. Are you supposed to kill that, or...? What the hell are those? Flying squid creature. It gave you sinew. I see, or and then I you. took damage, so now I, I selected my healing spell, then I select who I want to heal, and click. Bam. Heal. Neat. So I'd probably be playing support in this. But then I couldn't play by myself. Oh, you could. You could just fine. Like, you're, you're gonna do a little bit of everything anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But, I mean, if you want to hold back and just cast, you know, healing, that's fine. But it has a decent cooldown on it, so... Mm -hmm. um, now, I, I don't have any of the other buffs. I have not bought any of the other skills yet. Okay. For uh, Divine. So I don't really know. Well, that's a level 7 one. Holy crap, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. It's gonna beat your ass! It's gonna beat your ass! 
Uh, I'm really bad at aiming some of these. Some of them? Shut up! Love you. Hide. Hide is important. Make an armor, I guess, right? Yep. As far as I can tell, the only way to get it is by killing creatures. Would make sense. Yes, it does. Ow. Getting wrecked. Yep. Killed it. I found some potions that restore my mana, so... That's nice. How fast does a mana regen by itself? Uh, not, it's not, it doesn't take too long. It's about 20 every, like, 5 seconds or so. That ain't too bad. It's not great, but it ain't too bad. I need some more of the, uh, oil guys. Fucking level 7s. Leave me alone. I'm currently wearing a barrel as a chest piece and a headpiece. I noticed. It's pretty darn nice. You got some fancy equipment there. Really sophisticated. I mean, the running animation is kind of silly. Well, it is early access. So I would expect some better animations Ooh. by the time. Quit licking me! No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, wait. Ah. Hey, look somewhere else. Lick more! Lick more! Ah. A level 7 one. Ow. Oh, uh, you can, uh, like, you can double tap and dash. Oh, that's nice. What is it, like a void dash or it's run dash? I'm not. I mean, I can go, you can go through stuff with it, so... Oh, so it's an avoid that. And you can jump it, you can do it while in the air, too. Huh. Yeah, it's like an avoid dash. I thought you, I thought you meant, like, like sprint. Ugh, stop! Stop charging. Stop it. There you go. Knock it off! Ass. I looted... Oh, well, it was. I guess it was a tree. What? It was a tree stump. I was like, I looted wood from that? Okay, I'm over this. Hello, Summus. Ooh, that guy looks scary. Oh, uh, he's throwing a boomerang at me. Scare me. Ah. What the fuck is that? So what happens if you die? I'm sure you'll find out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whenever you... You can go to a crystal and click a tune, and when yeah. you die, that's the crystal you go to. I don't know. Have not died yet? I have. I just haven't really paid attention to see what happens. Uh, isn't anything catastrophic then? No. Uh, I mean, you can play hardcore and I'm sure you lose everything when you die. Uh, yeah, 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 that sounds fun to me. Some that's people fun. like that, you know, it adds extra challenge. Oh, yeah, it's not me, true. but it's not for Some me. Do. Not for me at all. I just want to see how long it takes to get from one side of the world all the way back around, you know, playing on a yeah medium-sized world. Uh, it is similar to Terraria, yes. Um, Terraria was technically the first game like it. Much like, you know, there was other games that, you know, started a genre. That's what Terraria did. Um, this game adds some things that no other game like it does, though, such as the talents, the the research and development. Ooh, ooh. That doesn't oh, look friendly. Oh, what the hell? 
I thought that was a tree. Okay. <laughs> You're like, fuck this shit, I'm throwing fireballs at it. And there's a, there's a, there's a pretty good uh, chat system in the game too. I think that was a scorpion. Or something. Yeah, it was it was like a scorpion. See, here's the talents. Okay. Uh, I was talking to the person in chat. Um, my healing is max level. Let's see. I'm not spinning any GP in there until... Right. Everything you do gives you some sort of experience. Let's... Uh, here comes the big badass oil thing. Which is fine, because if I kill it here, then I can just go back and craft torches. And then start yeah. digging down. Hey. He can spawn. Uh, a bunch of the smaller things. Oh, fun. I'm hitting him for six with my melee weapon. That ain't good. Ah, stuck! Just fire, dude. Holy crap, I can jump! Oh, wow, you do a lot more damage than fire. I'm, I'm barely hurting him. <laughs> this sucks. Ah! Now, is he, like, gonna always be there, or...? Well, they're just random spawns. Oh, okay. So, like, if you walk away, he'll just, you know, he won't be there anymore. <laughs> if I walk away, he'll follow me. <laughs> well, yeah. Or if you die. Ow. Wow, it just did 73 damage. GG. I can't fight that. Nope. I got this. Ha ha! Until that happens. Ah, I'm stuck! Whoa, whoa! He teleported me to him. Hex! Hex! He's like, <laughs> that's not cool. Ha ha! Quick travel, bitch! <laughs> I should have got enough that I can craft torches anyway. Let's see. Alright, I have to craft lumber. So, Max, Craft, and Torch, Max, there we go, now go down in my hole, wait, hold on, I got a, a item that I haven't researched yet, I think, alright, fully researched that item, frills, have I researched frills, nope, not yet, there we go, research, Nice. So, dude, let's see, does it work? Come see on. down here, telling me I've learned part of a recipe, you've learned part of a recipe, and it tells you how much XP you've learned. Uh, if you notice up here, there's a bar underneath the item. As it's green, that's telling you basically there's still recipes you can learn from it. Once it turns yellow, you've learned everything you can from it. Oh, I love that. It's great. Something I suggested to the developer was that once you actually learn a whole recipe, um, it should put an exclamation mark in your craft window next to it, showing you what you've learned. Yeah. Uh, he said that's a good idea, and he, you know, he said a couple other ideas that he, he thought, and was like, yeah, that's pretty good too. Okay, um, so... That's barbarian. 
Rami tongues. If you say so. You've learned part of the beast breeches recipe. Okay, uh, leather tanning. I think I need to make actual leather. Well, how the hell do I actually make the leather? What the hell? Oh, I don't have uh, oil clots or regular wood. Well, damn it! Oh. <laughs> Sometimes it is seem kind of overwhelming at times to really get all the materials you need, because you do have to use materials you've gathered to research. So there is a kind of a downside to it, but I like it. I, I like the idea of researching. It, it just changes the monotony of okay, well, I know everything because I have this material. It just seems silly. Like, I, I, suddenly, I have a piece of metal. I now know how to make a death ray. Yeah, that doesn't really make much sense. Okay, let's see if I can find one more uh, oil clot. There's one. Uh, kill the sheep. Evasive sheep. And this is multiplayer. Uh, I don't know if it's working, but they, you know they do have multiplayer in the menu. So, uh, leather max. Really. So I need to get. Eight more oil clots. Um, there have been a lot of games recently to the, similar to the style of Terraria that come out. There's Dark Out. There's um, Signs of Life. There's Starbound. There and there is a game called Edge of Space. Of those games, uh, Edge of Space I think is the worst of them. And I say that because the lighting is awful and it takes a lot of uh, materials and effort to make torches. That, like I don't see a reason that you sh you can't uh, actually make better lighting when you have that kind of technology. Like you have a jetpack, and it was the last time I played, the jetpack gives off no light. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if it's out for a beta. I know it's early access, but I'm not sure which of those it is. Um, I have a Q&A typed out that uh, I'm going to be sending to the developer after this, after this uh, first impression stream tonight. And he will send it back to me with the questions and I'll put it on my website. If there are any questions that you want me to uh, add to it, feel free to type them in and I'll add them to the list. Uh, it'll be hosted on the drasticmeasure.com website, and that is listed below. Um, if you're using a different kind of client or something, uh, I think you can type, well, I don't have any of the bots in here right now, so I actually that won't work. Um, just say something, and I can link you to the website if you really need me to. Or uh, Abyssal Can, because he's just so wonderful at linking stuff. He's just so good at yeah. it. He's better than I am. So good at all the things. He's a better linker. He's a super duper linker. Yeah. He links it so hard. I link you so good, you wish I didn't link you so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. This not right. Seriously, where the hell are all the oil clots? I guess I've been killing know. them too much. I wonder if you can actually just commit genocide, just completely kill off all oil clots. That would be awful. But amazing.
Okay, well, I'm gonna research this leather and then start heading down. Maybe I'll see some of the things at the bottom. Or, what the hell? Huh. I guess I don't need to research leather. I need bigger boxes though. Throw me a freaking bone here. No. That. Peter is screwing up on me. What are you doing, Peter? There we go. Problem solved. That's where they were. Ha! I knew I had some. Upon closer examination, I'm like 90% sure that all of the explosion sound effects in Diablo 2 were made by somebody going in the microphone. <laughs> what the hell? I'm not even kidding. <laughs> like, almost all of them. I think these kind of games need to have armor dye so you can color your armor. Really? Let me see if I can... Hold on. See if you can hear it. I'll play it on my phone. Uh, get some of this copper uh, down listen here. To this. this is the explosion sound effect from Diablo. You hear it? Uh huh. That's the explosion sound effect. I'm pretty sure it's somebody just blowing onto a mic. Yeah, it does sound like that. <laughs> I'm like 90% sure that it's somebody just blowing on a microphone. God damn it. Whatever Shit works. Is magical. Shit is magical. And it took me this long to notice it. It's from Diablo 2. Um, I do know the answer to the bosses. There are already some bosses in the game. They're going to add more. And uh, there there will be a dungeon NPC in the game also. Uh, called a Dungeoneer. And you'll be able to get go in the dungeons from him. Oh, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Uh. But I will add the uh, question about pets for sure. Will there be pets? That should be very interesting if there is. Did Terraria have pets? I know that the Starbound does. Mm, yes. They just add, they had pet they had no they didn't have pets originally and then they added pets and then they added summons. Summons, huh? Yeah, they have summoning things now. You can summon different cool. things, different things to fight for you. There's sets that you can get to summon more things. It's kind of interesting. I bet they end up adding more better water physics to this game too. The uh, oh no, I'm drowning button uh, is kind of hard to tell, kind of hard to notice. That could just be because I'm playing on such a big screen, though. Oh, I want to find some iron.
Ooh, what is that over there? Hey, come back here. Hey, why are you running away from me? I'm trying to kill you. Don't you ignore me when I'm trying to beat your head in. Really? One one thing of iron? One one block? Yep. Woody Diocas, uh, and what was the other person's name? Um, I is Chewbacca. Welcome. Certainly is. I need better tool. Is that stone? I can't tell. Well, what is that? Sounds like glass of some kind. Maybe ruby? Yep, that's exactly what it was. I plan on actually starting to play Terraria soon. Um, I played it when it very first came out uh, for like a month straight and then I didn't play it after that. Uh, they basically deleted everything I had. Because, you know, it was before they actually had a thing called Early Access. Uh, and I didn't realize that my character was going to get wiped. That takes way too long to collect this. Um, so I've never really gone back to play it. And I know they've added like a shitload of stuff to the game, so... And I, like, I would really like to play uh, Edge of Space at some point, but it's just it's it's not as good as other games. But they've added Terraria-based content to that game, and they even added the Terraria logo to it. So yeah, that was kind of strange. I thought iron, yay! Oh, what is that stuff up there? I gotta look at that too. I'm wondering if there's gonna be crystals underground, like the rainy crystals. I wonder if there'll Maybe. be any underground. That would be neat. Even if it's not on purpose, I wonder if it'll they'll end up under there on accident. The sand. I think I need stand still though, so. Uh, what's over this way? More iron. Not good, because I need a lot of it. I still haven't re re uh, researched an anvil yet. Mm -hmm. And I need that so I can craft any armor. So. Or most weapons. You see, the... the in uh, was it Starbound? You cr you basically create items, or that gives you bosses, and bosses will give you items. Create an item, they give you more recipes. 
which I mean that's, that's kind of like research I guess uh, loot it's more loot based progression still uh, and then they have the whole uh, tech plans to get you know like the, basically the trinkets of Terraria is what they are mm. in Starbound uh, you know when you, you get the one of the techs it's yeah. basically just giving you the shit that was trinkets or, or whatever yeah. um, Edge of Space they almost everything in that game is uh, loot based on blueprints and recipes oh okay but one thing about that game is there are a bajillion resources you actually have to like refine resources it seems over complicated it, it, it really seemed like it and they might have that's something that they might have changed awesome. but uh, I, I, I got the game the very first day they put it on Steam. It was one of the first handfuls of early access games. Wildstar is done, by the way. Okay. It's just the... You could hardly see anything, even when you did have lighting. Uh, it, it took way too much... What, uh, into space? Or yeah, or? yeah, yeah. And it took way too much resources and time to get the materials needed to actually make torches or lamps and shit so you had lighting in edge of space uh, it's all stuff that could have changed since th since I played though so okay now I'm gonna go further this way See if I can find any unique creatures or anything at all. I, mean, I basically came down here for exactly what I'm getting right now, but really, what what is? And see if you notice in the chat window down in the bottom left, it's giving me like I'm, I've got we got a shitload of gathering TP. Yep. Mm, interesting. Are you getting that just from getting dirt? From everything, anything you gather. I think s some stuff once you gather it so many times, you only get it every so often, and at least that's what it feels like. Okay. Yeah, cause you just got six for mining sand. Or like, no, see, I'm not getting it every time. Yeah. And that time I got three. Yeah. Four. Now, is this character locked to this world? Or can no, you go I can go to different worlds. So you can go to different worlds with it. At least I think. <laughs> I don't know. So um, yeah, I will. It's a good point. Because it doesn't mean to make a difference if you're going to help your friends. They have to make a new character every time you go to the new world. Uh, I haven't been down that far, actually. I don't know. I'll dig straight down and see how far down it goes. Breaking the, you know, sandbox might have never dig straight down. Yep. I don't even know if it has lava in this game. Me either. But, uh, I'm gonna figure I'm finding that out right now. I would imagine because it's kind of a staple anymore. And then that raises the question what can you do with the lava? Or is it just a pointless die mechanic? Uh, I watched the Hunger Games the other day and I realized after watching it, it that is exactly what Rust is. What? The game Rust? What? It's the fucking Hunger Games. They put, except you know they put you on an island naked and they do airdrops for materials and stuff and you gotta survive. You do if I kill other people, get their shit. Yeah. And now I'm just totally expecting them to make at some point an actual Hunger Games video game. Oh, of course, yeah, it'll probably be like the second movie. It'll come out. 
The second movie is already out. Is the second movie out? Yeah. Okay, then the third movie. Whatever. I don't follow it. Ooh, ooh, there's a chest. There's a chest. I see a chest. There's a picture of Captain America wearing uh, Hello Kitty armor instead of America armor. This is a music. It's locked. Requires a key. WTF? Keys? No! Why? I guess you have to figure out how to make keys. That <laughs> ruined my hopes and dreams. I guess you have to. Can you can you move the chest somehow? I want to break the motherfucker. Uh, Dig underneath it. You can't. Oh. So you just have floating chests. <laughs> World Gen should have fun with that. Can that thing what's float the, through the? Yeah. What's with that thing? Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh God! Oh no! It's a ghost-like creature. That's. Good. Ooh, what is can this? You, can no. you kill it? What level was it? Seven? Yeah, I could kill it. But I mean, can you physically kill it? Wow, you don't do a lot of damage to it at all. It's almost dead. Oh, I, I meant like it did not high numbers. Ectoplasm. It, it, it was an like seventy or something. Ah, oh, I got a silver key from hey, a pot. Silver, go, go, go. <laughs> I don't know how to get back up. <laughs> can you? No. Can you play no. Place the dirt underneath your feet. Yes. Oh, thank God you could do dirt towers in this game. Dude, that's a requirement in every game like this anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's another mini chest here. Oh. Wow. Hopefully you didn't use your key. I looted two keys, didn't I? Yeah, I did. You did? So, did you use your key? Oh, and I got a new pouch. Second inventory hey. spot. I'll just do loot to take all. And then I'm going to jack this chest. <laughs> I take everything from it, and then I steal it. Hooray. Oh. Another pouch. Hooray. Loot. Torches and stuff and a bow. Meat. Wow. It's already full. Zebra seed, silver oh, ingot. Put them down and lock Ooh, a spear. Yeah. Two spears. And a bow. I got a hunting bow. Hopefully it isn't like a nice. star bomb cutting bow. I've already made a vine bow and it was awful. So the, the weapon, so the tools don't have durability then, huh? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I keep on falling in love with my face to the floor. My face keeps on falling in love with the floor. <sighs> Damn, this shit takes forever. I never hit the ground quite as hard. I got nothing else. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I tried. I did, I did alright, I guess. I'm just glad it's over. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'm gonna check my talents after I gather this last bit of sapphire. Alright. So. Alright. Uh, teleport from there to the surface? Somehow? Not not yet. I don't know if I ever will be able to. Spell, huh? Gathering speed boost. Ray. Does that does that look more like silver? I don't know. Yep. Yep. 
That's silver. And now you're getting the TP for like every one of those? Yep. Most. More silver? No, it's nope. iron. iron. Uh, I'm just I'm gonna start digging down. Uh. I want to go to hell. Never thought I'd say that. Nonsense. You say it all the time. As a gamer, this is a common sentence to our di dictionary. Especially when playing Diablo. Mm -hmm. Except unless Diablo 3 is, I want to go to heaven. Harpy darpy. But really, what's the difference in Diablo? Right? There was something blue underneath me. Is it water? It like mushrooms or something. Let me check here. I see water. Oh, I see it. I couldn't see it because it's been on the bar. When I end the stream here in a bit, I'm going to give away a game. So, Sweet. regardless of how many people are on the channel, anyone is eligible. They gave me wood. Give you wood? What? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess they do turn into trees, I guess, there, like that. Let's see if this gives me something else. Ooh, there's something down there in the bottom, right? Oh, I see that. I got a mushroom seed. Mushroom seed, huh? Some pots. What is that Ori stuff there? Or AUN or whatever that is? I can't remember. Ori. I got a shitload of it. I think it's just like pottery. I don't know. It looks like a gold leaf, but. Yeah. I've gotten a lot of it. Oh, there's a mannequin down there. I think if you I think you need mannequins. I think you take mannequins and then uh craft one of the uh outfits and put the outfit on it and I think it turns it into an NPC. Neat. I made a real boy. Fun boy. Started off as like making it turn into something else, like mid word. That's great. Diamonds, huh? So it's like the animation for it, just kind of like sketchy, as in like. Yeah. Is, are you holding it down? Or yeah. Are you tapping? I'm holding it down. I think it's just he, he mined so fast that it just kind of geeks out. out. Yeah. Now, the key I'm giving away is not for Kriya. Um, I, don't, I, I only had one key for that and I redeemed it myself. However, um, I will let you pick out of I'll, I'll I'll give you like five games to pick from whoever wins, and that's what you'll get. See, I'll show you something. Um, there are 
these things merchant outfits uh, researcher outfits scavenger outfits and they take a core yeah and they take a core which I've only looted one yeah. and so I think if you make one of these and it looks like the mannequin is inside of it right so I think if you yeah. make one of these and put on a mannequin I think it'll bring the NPC alive yeah seems like it and you have to guard them with your life because they probably derp into everything right now the only building I have is a little fucking hut underground I don't need. I don't, I don't know if it's like anything like Terraria, where you know if you build. Uh, I want this door. I'm stealing the fucking door. Give. <laughs> I want this torch. I want this too. I don't know what it is, but I want it. And I'm, I'm jacking that mannequin so hard. Wait, that's just wrong. Doesn't that penis? Can't do that. Decorations. I like decorations. I like pictures. I don't have another key. God damn it! Oh, la, 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 la. Where did you even get the other key? From uh, one of the um, like pottery, pottery on the ground. Uh, I assume you can make them with the silver that you found. I don't have. Wait. Workstation. <laughs> um. Is there a forge in this? Like to, to there, the, 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 there, there is. The yes, there's a furnace. Um. What I need first is one of these. Sheet of paper for that. Six. It was. Oh. I figured it was gonna be more than. Yeah. Right. Okay, so. There you go. Where did it go? Or you just throw it on the ground there. It was it. I I have to break these up because there's no room for it. I'm just gonna research everything I have. Yeah. Oh, that was easy. That. I think. Yeah, it should really tell you what you learned. It does. Oh, it does tell you I can now make diamonds. Okay. Was that silver that you did that with, or diamond? That was diamond. Oh. Yeah, I already have the. the what is cobalt? Nada. Got to research silver? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm getting there. Learn part of the glaive recipe. And part of the healer outfit. Ah, oh, it's hot. Your craft talent leveled up. Nice. You completed the apprentice swan recipe and. Nice.
Damn, it's hot. Okay, silver ore. Let's see what we can... Please be a forge. Whetstone. Alrighty then. Silver ingot. Zebra seed. 